What's up guys? Today we're going to try to do the song Knuckles from the band Mooseblood. And, um, you know, sorry I've been a little bit busy lately. I had last week, I had tons and tons of extra practice with stuff for myself and for uh, different students. And then also I had a, um, I got to record a song in a studio with a, a country singer, believe it or not. So uh, that was kind of cool. And anyway, uh, this song is going to be really good strumming practice. And the way that he uses the capo with um, some of the open strings he's playing, it's going to bring out some really cool sounds, really cool chords. <laughs> And I just, I just really love how these chords sound, so uh, let's zoom in and check them out. Okay, before we get going, make sure to hit subscribe, and if you know somebody who might be into this video or likes this band, if you could share it with them, that could really help me out a lot. Also, check out the links down in the description. I have a free chord poster in there, my books in there, and some other things. So this song is in standard tuning. That's my E. But we're going to put a capo on fret number six right here. This song uses some really cool sounding chords, and I'm going to use just the basic name. It, it gets a little complicated for me to explain why. Um, basically, we're going to use a lot of open strings, and we're not going to be hitting all of those strings, but depending on how many we hit, it kind of changes the name of the chord. So uh, let's just call this one a C or a C5. That's nothing on the sixth string. Three, five, zero, zero, zero. And most of the time, we're not really going to hit that last string. To play the F in this song, we're going to go 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. And some of the time, I'm going to put my second finger down on the fourth string. So we would have 1, 3, 2, 0, 0, 0. This next chord I'm going to call C slash G, even though really we should also say add 9. It's a 3, 3, 2, 0, 3, and then... Again, we're going to play that, that string is open, even though most of the time I'm going to try not to hit that one, or mute it with my hand. And to play our G chord, we're just going to use two fingers to play it. We're going to go three, two, zero, 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 and we're not going to hit the first string again. And for the strum rhythm for the song, we're going to go down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And if we do anything different, I'll try to, uh, to let you know what I did. Three, four. On that first part when we switch to that F chord that's when I'm gonna start putting down that finger and then I'll pick it up so uh, let's listen to that a little bit slower Also, listen to the strumming on the chorus part the chorus is uh, the part where it says that thing you said stay beautiful we have the F I switch to this C uh, slash G, we go down, down, up, up, down. So down, down, up, up, down, up. And I do the same thing on the G, and notice that I hammer my first finger down. Down, down, up, up, down, up. The whole thing is down. And we 
go back in, we have another verse and another chorus, and uh, let's play it. Three, four. I thought I said I wasn't good at this. I couldn't tell you that I wanted you, but I wanted to. It took so long, you made me wait. You had it all planned out. Right here, we just switched into the bridge section. Now, we're just going to use an open C chord, so that's nothing. Three, two, zero, one, zero. Probably a lot of you guys are already used to playing that chord. And sometimes we're going to hammer our second finger down. Down. And then I'm just going to move these two fingers up a string. That's how we're going to play our G in this part. And I'm going to hold that note down even though we're not really hitting that string on this chord. We're On most of these chords, we're just focusing on the thicker strings. And I have that same move with my second finger. F chord is going to be the same F that we've been using, but we pick that finger up. And uh, let's see, that part sounds like this. Three, four. Alright, good job. If you have any questions or comments, um, requests for other songs, you can put them down in the comments. And if you want a little bit extra help with the song, you can get a hold of me. I have a link down below and uh, you can find out about Skype lessons. We can connect on there and I can help you with this song or, um, you know, other stuff too, of course. Make sure to follow me on social media. I always post, you know, videos and different things on there. And, um, yeah, I'll just see you guys next time.